Hey, all my friends. Welcome back to Tuesday with Tasha. Today we're reading The Wall and the Wild. And I don't know about you, but I love plants. I am starting to grow my own plants, own vegetables, and I'm having such a great time. So I can't wait to see what this story is all about. It's written by Christina Dendy and illustrated by Katie Roos. The Wall and the Wild At the end of Ironbark Way, the town of Stone Hollow edges against the wild. There, Anna turns a patch of bare earth, seed by seed, drop by drop. Anna grows a garden, lovely, tidy, and thick with life. Perfect, she says. She wants to keep it that way. So Anna picks out the most perfect seeming seeds, not too big, not too small, no breaks, no bruises. The rest she throws into the untidy wild. You stay there. Anna lines the boundary between her orderly patch and the disorderly wild. Anna's garden grows and grows and grows. Leafy trees, tasty fruits and vegetables, sweet-smelling flowers, birds, bees, and butterflies hum. Critters, some with four legs, some with more, nibble. People stop to look. Yes, Anna grows a wondrous garden, but what's this? She asks. I didn't plant you. Anna plucks and pitches the unfamiliar sprout. Then she picks through her seeds. Toodle! too round, too thin, too tough. More fly into the grubby wild. You stay there. Anna builds her boundary a little higher. Anna's garden grows and grows. Less leafy, less tasty, less sweet smelling. Fewer birds, bees, and butterflies hum. Fewer critters nibble fewer people visit. Anna trims and thins and pinches and prunes, but more of you? She asks. Not here, you don't. Anna tugs and tosses the unwanted shoots, then picks through her seeds. Too bright, too thick, too flat, too soft. You stay out there. Most soar into the messy wild. Anna builds the boundary as high as she can. Until she has a mighty wall. Anna's garden grows. Thinning leaves, dull blooms, pinched fruits, birds, bees, and butterflies hum away. Critters scamper and scurry to find tastier nibbles. No one stops. Anna waters and feeds her plants, but... Bracken and brush, she fumes. What is going on? Anna surveys the constellation of uninvited leaves, grass, and vines. They reach over, through and under the wall, while shadows creep across the fading flowers of her garden. On the other side, voices babble, footsteps patter, and sunlight beams. Anna marches to the wall. She climbs up, 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 and sees... Wow! The seeds Anna threw away have grown. Deep but bright, tangled but rich, strange but wonderful. Perfect, she says. She wants to keep it that way, so Anna climbs down the wall and pulls loose a stone. At the end of Ironbark Way, the town of Stone Hollow edges against the wild. There, Anna and her friends tend the rich earth, seed by seed, drop by drop, a garden and a wilderness grow together. 
I love this book, my friends, because it reminds me that you can't throw out all the bad parts. There has to be some good and some bad, and it all works together to create something very beautiful. And if you try to build a wall and block something out, you may be also missing something beautiful on the other side. So if you love this book as much as I do, please click the link in the description box so you can get a copy for yourself. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep reading great books together at Tuesday with Tasha.